What could possibly be happier than a swim in the frozen waters of the North Atlantic? Breathe in through the nose and out. How did I get here? Let's find out. Actor, author, and comedian Rain Wilson sat down with me to explain just how he got himself into that situation and many more just like it as he traveled the globe searching for the secret to happiness in his new Peacock show, The Geography of Bliss. It's based on the best-selling book of the same name, and it's a must-see. We are having a crisis of loneliness, not just in the country, but in the world. And in this project that's airing during Mental Health Awareness Month, you talk about your emotional vulnerabilities, your anxiety. How hard is that? Yeah, it's 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 tricky, you know. I I, but I I really feel like this crisis is is so intense right now with young people. They are so lost in this mental health crisis. They need all the help they can get. I mean, I, it's it's a little frustrating to me. I feel like people over fifty or sixty don't understand the depth of this mental health crisis. I mean, it is killing our young ones. Suicide rates have tripled over the last 20 years. And uh, in order to address it, I've got to share my truth. I've got to share my reality and my vulnerability. And I, I had mental health struggles. I struggle, struggled and struggle with anxiety, depression, loneliness, alienation, uh, a lot of different issues, addiction over the years. And um, I need to share that in order to draw people in so that they can relate and I'm not someone lecturing them. I'm going on a journey myself. But what I hear you say there, you said struggled, but you also said struggle mm -hmm. in the present. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really important because what's happening to young people is we have that list that we're checking off, right? I would be happy if I had a cool job. I would be happy if I had a nice house. I would be happy if I had a good life partner. And they can check all those things off but they still have this empty hole that they're trying to fill. Mm. Do you represent for them this idea that you could have all those cool things, but still you could have loneliness, you could have pain? Yeah, I think that's, that's a really good point. Uh, I'm a successful actor. You know, I've been lauded for many roles and I still struggle with anxiety and, um, uh, and I suffer, and in fact, some of my most unhappy years in my life were at the height of the success of The Office. Why do you think that is? Because that's part of the human condition. I think we live in a state of, you know, uh, of struggle and anxiety and dissatisfaction, chronic dissatisfaction. Here I was on a, a top 10 television show that was award-winning, playing an amazing character with an amazing group of people, making solid money, and I wanted more. I was like, this wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. And we're kind of wired. That's what kept us surviving over the eons, right? It's not enough. When you think about this television project, though, it's the opposite of abundance, right? You, you travel the world to the happiest places. Mm -hmm. Can you speak to that? Yeah, so the team of amazing producers that I worked with found these incredible um, folks to interview in Ghana, in Iceland, in Bulgaria, in Thailand, all the places we went, taxi drivers, food truck operators, performance artists, a lot of just common folk, waiters, people under the radar. Uh, and I, it was amazing to me that it all boiled down to one thing. What? You ready? Yes. You're, you leaned in. Yes. Here's the secret to happiness. It's community and connection, the happiest people, the most enriched, most fulfilled people, and the way they interact with their culture, it's all about the connections that we make. And, and guess what? In contemporary America, we're at the most disconnected that we've ever been. Did you know that before you did this project, or is that what you learned from it? I read it before I did the project, but there was something about traveling the world and just seeing these gorgeous communities and people interacting with each other and and loving on each other and supporting each other and it was like and that and that's what I brought back home to Los Angeles at the end like oh that's where I need to lean I need to lean into my groups I, I think I read you called yourself a mini Oprah yes why yeah. do you what speak to this I don't know if I'm mini Oprah I'm probably a lot bigger maxi than Oprah, Oprah? I'm, I'm a I'm a, I have a secret inner Oprah <laughs> that's dying to get out. 
I am really and always have been intrigued by big spiritual ideas and concepts. So I wrote a book about it, uh, exploring spiritual themes and topics, because I do think that our culture is longing for some spiritual tools to heal ourselves, both in terms of the mental health crisis, but in, in terms of like the climate change crisis. And I think our systems could really benefit from some spiritual healing as well, not just, it doesn't just work on a personal level. There can be a systemic change based on spiritual principles. Then this show, while in its title or on its face, might seem like a joyful, almost small, fun, um, not guilty pleasure to watch, but oh, here's this fun little project. It's a lot deeper than that. It's uh, what we call in, uh, in show business, chocolate covered broccoli. So, <laughs> that's gross. Yes, that's gross, isn't it? Listen, the geography of bliss is fun and it's funny and it's wacky and I'm a goofball and I fall down and I take my, off my shirt a lot and there's a lot of laughs to be had but around that. But it's more that. than that. Yes, yes, and we disguise the fact that it is a lot deeper than that. And the show goes to some really profound places about spirituality, about connection, about mental health, about loving the incredibly rich diversity of humanity. These are not just sweet like Hallmark card ideas. These are ideas that we need to transform ourselves and our society right now. The urgency has never been higher. So I hope to do more seasons and I hope to dig even deeper and fall down even more and take off my shirt even more and at the same time dig into some super profound ideas about what connects us and, and what direction we need to go. Do you have a message to the world? All you need is love. <laughs> All you need is love. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.